Ready? Three minutes max? I am. And go. All right, so my tip is an illustrator tip. And I get a lot of requests um, for different types of charts. Now everybody's trying to do infographics you know, in a different way. And one of the requests I get a lot is to create ring charts. Uh, it's kind of like a new way of showing information. And so in Illustrator, you know, I, I came down here in CC 2018, I came down to the chart button thinking that maybe since 1990 they might have added another one in there. <laughs> Um, they're, they're working on it. They're working on it. There was that but, whole web. But I, I realized, of course, that they didn't, you know, and I was right. very disappointed. But when they, when they added live shapes to Illustrator, um, I started playing around with this. I'm like, oh, well, this is pretty cool. So now, if I want to, I can easily create Pac Man and, Excellent. and recreate I like, I like you know, that artwork. I, I don't know if you have to remember right now. I just went, what's a live shape? Yeah. People are noting that down. <laughs> So um, what I wanted to show you is I figured out a way to utilize this shape um, to generate ring charts. So what I'm going to do is I created um, just kind of like a circle with a stroke applied. I can confirm that's a circle. And then I put the ellipse on top of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these shapes, and I'm going to go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. So that kind of clips that entire shape. But the live shape remains live. And so if I go into isolation mode, I can select this. And now I can start creating you know, different portions of that ring chart for the different values. And what I had discovered is when we do this, we really want to represent a certain number. So like 75% or 30%. I'm like, well, how do I get that correct number? Well, if you're like any other graphic designer, you guess. Right, absolutely. We just kind of guess at that it. That looks However, like three quarters of a donut. So I come from the production side, so I like to be a little more precise, right? So what I figured out is, if you go to the transform panel, you have the start wedge and the end shape. Oh, you're going to do the thing. You're gonna and do the so thing. I'm going to type 360 divided by 100. And that gives me 3.6 degrees, right? I, yeah, sure. So if I wanted this ring to represent, say, 37%, I can just type 3.6 times 37. And that gives me the value for 37%. So all of these rings now are live, and they can be adjusted as needed. And so when you're all said and done, you end up with your ring chart that all the values are live and can be adjusted. So you can edit those. By simply double clicking on it and adjusting the wedge to a different value, if you wanted to. And if you import the, the use of the Shape Builder tool, you can even create these nice little organic rounded corner shapes as well. With nine tip. seconds to spare? Nine seconds to spare. What? Wow.